Hi, this is Charity Adams with AdamsAcres.com, and I just wanted to show you one um, trick that I use to keep the proportions in my SVG files that contain multiple cuts. And today I'm going to work with the Apple and the Worm project, and this was available for a free download for um, at, at AdamsAcres.com. It's for use with Sure Cuts a Lot software. So let's take a look at uh, what we're going to do here. I do put these into SCAL libraries, which just makes them really easy to work with, and that is included in the download. So first of all, we're going to put up our base unit, and we're going to size it. Now this is the apple, this is the base, and right now it's about 2 inches by oh, 2 inches, so I want it a little bit bigger. Okay, and you'll notice that I put a star in. This has no value to the die cut itself. I just use it for shaping purposes. So if you are making your own cuts, pick an image like a star and copy it from piece to piece to piece so that you can maintain proportions. And this is how it works. Next thing we're going to do is we'll bring the worm in. There it is. And he's not quite big enough, so I know that my star is the same. So I'm going to resize my star until I think it looks about the same size. Now it's the same size and it looks in proportion with the apple. Again, star doesn't matter. It will cut, but we won't, we won't so we don't want to overlap it with the apple. Here's we're going to bring in a leaf. Leaf, too big. I can see that right now. So let's resize the leaf. Until it fits. Very simple. And now we know that the leaf is in proportion with the rest of the items. And that's how you use the star or any image to maintain proportions in your S cut files. Again, this is Charity Adams with Adams Acres Scrapping at AdamsAcres.com. Please stop by and take a look at some of the SVG files we've made for Shortcuts a lot. Have a great day.